praise the Lord. You are welcome from wherever you are connecting all over the world to today's business breakthrough prayers organized by CGMI Joy and Harvest KT Texas. My name is Victor Ayodele and I am your host. Uh, we thank God for his goodness and mercies in the lives of uh, everyone uh, from when we started uh, looking at dream seed we've asked god for wisdom for direction and we prayed concerning our business uh, whether you are a business owner or you are an employee we prayed yesterday today we'll still continue to pray but first we want to give god thanks for his goodness for his mercies for all that he has done for us uh, making us to uh, excel in our jobs, making us to have breaks in our in, in, in our businesses, breaks that all otherwise would not uh, come through except for his intervention. So let us just thank him uh, as we set out uh, for today's uh, prayers. Let's just thank him for us. Father, we give you praise. We worship you. We thank you for all that you have been to us. We thank you for how you have, oh God, lifted us. We thank you for what you are doing in our work, in our business. Lord, we thank you for, oh God, what you are helping us to achieve. We recognize your hands in our lives. We recognize, oh God, your, your interventions in all that we do. In fact, Lord, we recognize that we are what we are by your grace. And we are thanking you for that. Accept our thanks, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. So today we want to focus on the factor called favor. We want to focus on that factor called the help of God. That's what we want to focus on today. Um, the help of God is needed in anything that we do. That is the, that's what makes the difference. The Bible says that Except the Lord builds a house, the labor in vain that builds it. Except the Lord watches over the city, the watchman watches over in vain. So when God is inside the matter, the equation changes. The outcome uh, is, is already predetermined. And how does he inject himself in our works, in our businesses? Is by the virtue of his favor, is by the virtue of his help is by the virtue of his goodness. In Psalm 90 and verse 17, it says, let the favor of the Lord, our God, be upon us and establish the work of our ends upon us. Yes, establish the work of our ends. We are going to pray that prayer now. We are going to remind God that we are his children and uh, he has already destined us to showcase his goodness, to showcase his glory unto the world. So we are going to ask him that it, his favor will be upon us. His favor will be upon uh, the works of our hands and it, they will be established in the name of Jesus. Shall we lift our voices and begin to pray? Father divine, we want to thank you according to your word in Psalm 90 and verse 17. Let your favor, O Lord, be upon your people that are in this meeting this afternoon. Let your favor be upon each and every one. Let your favor, O God, be upon the works of their hands such that it will be established in the name of Jesus. Let your favor erase doubt. Let your favor erase inadequacy. Let your favor cover up for your people in the name of Jesus. Let your favor strengthen them. Let your favor bring them to places where they will be assured more victories in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because the works of their hands shall be established in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In 2 Chronicles 26, 15. Let me read that place. And he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones withal. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. He's talking about uh, King Uzziah. We are going to thank God that we will receive the help of God that will make us to be strong 
in our businesses. We will receive the help of God that will make what we are doing to uh, be to become strong for our ends to become uh, uh, strong in in the business that He has given to us. It will not happen by your own effort. It will not happen by your struggling. It is when God release help unto you through men, through people that will favor you. So let us pray for that. Let us thank God that in your place of work, in your business, in your uh, relating with associate, that God will favor you with those that will strengthen your hand, with those that will help you in the name of Jesus. Shall we lift our voices and begin to pray? Father divine, we want to thank you for your children. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for the release of help us unto them in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father, for those that will help them, that would cause what they are doing, Lord, to be a masterpiece. The Bible talk of Uzziah that he designed great engines that were showcased and his fame spread abroad. Father Divine, I'm asking that for your children, that concerning the works of their hand, they will be so helped in the name of Jesus that their works will be recommended far and wide in the name of Jesus. Father divine that, oh God, they will receive marvelous help. I pray for everyone in this, this afternoon that is in this meeting, that is listening, that is praying, that they will be helped even from quarters that they, they least expect in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for raising help for your children. Thank you, Father, Lord God, for securing help for the help that would, oh God, lift them. Help that will, oh God, establish them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you've had us. And lastly, we would uh, look at the book of Isaiah chapter 50 and verse 7. It says, because the sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, have I set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. Because the sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, have I set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. Uh, God is saying here that he would cancel anything that is set to put you to shame that that thing will not be empowered. So in your business, in your place of work, whatever you are involved in now that looks as if, ah, if this does not happen, it's like, oh, I'm in a serious trouble. God is saying that he's going to intervene in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Let's lift our voice and let us claim that word of the Lord for us, that he will help you. You will not be disgraced, that he will be there that the Lord will cause his intervention to come towards you in the name of Jesus. Father divine, thank you for your children. Thank you because your intervention will come unto them in their businesses. Thank you because your intervention will come unto them in their place of work. Lord, in all that they lay their hands upon to do, they shall not be put to shame. They shall not be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Rather, they will be elevated. Rather, oh God, Lord, they will be promoted. Rather, oh God, their businesses will do well. Their businesses, oh God, will be established. Their businesses will excel in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you've had us. We give you praise, Father. We give you praise. Shall we begin to thank him? Because he's sending help us your way. He is causing things that was meant to derail you. He's causing it to be the stepping stone to your elevation. Let's begin to thank him. Let's begin to worship him. Father divine, we give you praise. We thank you. We adore you. We worship you. Hallelujah be unto your name. We give you praise and we give you glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you. Because your children will be full of testimonies. Your children, oh Lord, will return to give you praise that, oh God, you intervene in their behalf. That your favor worked in their businesses. That they were not put to shame. There may be, oh God, Lord, those that are even wanting to switch jobs. I pray, oh Lord, that while they are thinking about switching the job, you have provided another better one in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you have us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.